Hey, what's up everybody? It's the hyphen here. And today I'm going to show you guys how I personally do my gaming live streams using OBS. In this video, I'm going to show you guys what I use, but you can actually use a different brand or a different model so long as it does the same thing. So here are the main components. You're going to need a console. For me, I use a PS4. You're going to need a game capture card. For me, I use the Elgato HD 60 S. You're going to need a microphone to capture your audio for the live stream. You're going to need a webcam if you want to overlay your face onto the live stream. Obviously, you're going to need a computer. And lastly, you're going to need a capture software that allows for streaming. You can use the Elgato capture software or many others, but my personal favorite choice is OBS. So here I have everything already set up. I have all the wiring in the back so you can't see. I have a recliner chair where I play and I have a webcam here on a monopod facing where I sit down so I can have my face on the live stream. And I have some lighting here off camera that's actually providing some light to my face. When I live stream, I actually turn off all these other lights. Right now I have it more bright than I normally do. I have almost all the lights off except for that one soft box that's on me for the webcam. So now I'm gonna go over how to actually connect everything together. You're gonna need to make sure that your computer's on, you have your software installed and open, you're gonna need your game console on and connected via HDMI to your capture card. On the Elgato capture card, you'll connect the HDMI to the in, and then you'll take another HDMI cable from the out to your TV. Then you'll connect your capture card via USB to the computer. Now, when it comes to the microphone, a lot of people use USB microphones because they have a lot of power and they're easy to work with on a computer, especially for live streaming. A popular microphone is the Blue Yeti. However, I actually use a wireless lav mic system. So the microphone that I'm actually using to record this video, I actually connect that to my gaming setup. So I take the receiver of my microphone and I connect that to the computer with a 3.5 millimeter cable into the actual mic jack directly on the tower. Now in the past, I've tried many different microphones connecting to that 3.5 millimeter mic jack. And one thing I've noticed is that many microphones actually don't output enough audio signal. So it sounds very low. With the mic system that I currently use, which is the Pico Gear Pico Stream, it actually outputs enough audio signal so I don't need to get any additional adapters or use a USB microphone. So with the microphone, you can either use USB powered or 3.5 millimeter jack. So you have options on what microphone you wanna use. Now, when it comes to the webcam, you can get pretty fancy. You can get really high end webcams, or you could even use a camera like the camera that I'm using now. You could actually get a capture device that connects HDMI to USB, such as the Elgato Cam Link. Now, I actually use a pretty old webcam that connects via USB, and it is the Logitech HD, I don't even know what it is. It's not high quality, it is HD, but it doesn't have anything spectacular. But for my gaming live streams, I actually have my face pretty small and off to the side. So I don't really care too much about the quality of my face, so long as you can see that it's me. Now I have it here on a monopod facing where my face would be when I'm sitting on this recliner. The USB cable is not long enough to go from here to the tower, which is on this corner of the room. So I actually have a six foot USB extension cable to allow it to run underneath the chair and to the computer tower. One quick thing that I wanna mention is if you're using the Elgato capture card such as the HD60S and you're having issues with video or audio when connected to OBS, I do have a video in the description that explains how to fix that. Once everything's connected and turned on, then we can go to OBS and set everything up. So once you have OBS open, make sure that you are starting a new setup. Then we're gonna go to the bottom towards the left and you'll see where it says sources. There, we click on the little plus sign to add an input device. Click the plus sign. First, we're gonna start with the console. Go to video capture device. Click on that and then name that whatever you want. I'm putting PS4. Then you'll get a new pop-up window where it says device. Go ahead and click on that and choose your device input. For me, it's gonna be capture card HD 60S. Once you have that selected, you'll see whatever is on your console on that screen. Now, personally here, I don't actually mess with any of the settings, though you can if you would like. Click OK and close that window. Then after that, go back to sources, click the plus sign, then click on audio input capture. Rename this to whatever you want. I'm gonna call it Mike. Click OK. Then you'll see another pop-up window. Click on device and you'll get a drop-down menu where you can choose your microphone input. For me, it's microphone Realtek R audio not the audio from the webcam. Go ahead and select your input and then press OK. Now, if you wanna use a webcam, we're gonna add another source. If you're not, then you can skip this step. Click the plus sign again, click video capture device, then go ahead and rename that. I'm calling mine webcam. Click OK, then you'll get another pop-up window. Click on device and then from there in the drop-down menu, choose your webcam or video input. For me, it's Logitech HD webcam C615. 
Now, depending on the quality of your webcam or your video device, you might want to click on configure video. One thing that can slow down your computer during this process is if you have a lot of excessive settings running through your computer for your webcam. So for me, using this webcam, I actually deactivated autofocus, deactivated auto exposure, and deactivated auto white balance. So essentially, I did all manual settings to make sure that with the lighting that I have, it looked good with where I'm positioned. All that gets done in a new window when you click on configure video. Now, if you're using something like a full blown camera, for example, if I was using the A6600 that's filming me at the moment, then I would actually change all the settings in the camera to get the shot that I want, to make it have the look that I want, the ISO, shutter speed, white balance, etc. So now that you have everything set up on video, you can go to the audio mixer and there you can adjust the sliders for your inputs for your microphone and your console. Now you're going to have to adjust these back and forth till you get the right sound. Now, one quick thing on the webcam, make sure that slider is all the way down at zero. So that way no sound from the webcam is coming in. For me, my personal settings are the console, the PS4 at negative 18 dB and the microphone input for my microphone sounds best at 12 dB. So on the positive side, plus 12. Now with the sliders, the max you can move up to is zero dB. But if you want to go plus, you're going to right click on the audio mixer at one of the channels. Then you'll see some options. Click on advanced audio properties. Then from there, if you want to go plus, you can actually click on your input. For me, I have mic input and you can click in there and type in the number you want. 12 dB works for me. So I type that in and then click close and now you're good to go. Now on the back end of the settings, your resolution, your frame rate, your stream quality, etc. That can vary depending on what you guys want, but I'm going to show you guys some screenshots of my personal settings. Towards the bottom right hand, click on settings. Here are my video settings. And here are my output settings. Now, when it comes to actually doing a live stream and outputting to a platform such as YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, etc., I have another video on this channel where I actually show you guys how I use Mob Crush to output and stream to four different platforms at once using OBS and this setup that I showed you guys today. So there you guys have it. That's how I do my gaming live streams. Again, the core components that you need do not have to match the exact equipment that I use. You can use other equipment so long as it does the same thing. If you're interested in getting any of the items that I use, I have links in the description where you can purchase them from either BNH Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.